means I've laid out everything <laughs> on a table here and we'll work our way through the list and um, if you have any questions just drop me a question in the comments and I'll happily answer um, if it's nice <laughs> okay so starting here we have um, string so this string um, just a general string from a hardware store I took like four or five meters of it it probably wasn't enough it's so light I don't know take eight meters or so um, for, for hanging out clothes now to be honest I only used it for hanging out clothes a couple of times but I also used it um, cut a bit off and used it as a, a lightweight belt um, so don't bring a belt bring some string and learn how to do a few knots so the next thing coronavirus face masks we want to bring some of them along um, I've neglected passport but yeah you want to bring a passport with you also when you start the Camino you need to buy a um, uh, like a Camino pass if you like um, where you put all your stamps um, I'll, I'll show you that later so moving along we have here like this is a universal travel adapter the good thing about it is it has two USB ports and you can plug it in the wall and then somebody else can go and plug their thing in the back of it so you can basically like steal power wherever you go and not really interfere with anybody um, and also help people out sometimes um, so definitely worth taking something like that because if you only have a charger sometimes there won't be enough plugs in the wall um, for that reason I brought one of these I only used it like twice uh, this is probably illegal it's so old but um, possibly worth bringing um, uh, yeah uh, you can get away without it interestingly I didn't actually take a, a power bank for my mobile I just left it on airplane mode most of the time so this is like a Swiss Army travel card it's basically for cutting my fingernails um, and to sort of fend off bears and things like that uh, no not really but um, I use the knife like once or twice the knife is so small it's not all that useful a few people who were planning to eat like you know to buy their own food as they went um, they took uh, like a sort of a travel um, knife, fork and spoon. I think that's quite a good idea. Um, but I didn't bring one because flying back. A couple of clothes pegs. I didn't really bring enough clothes pegs. Quite a few of the albergues have clothes pegs. Um, but yeah, a couple is definitely useful. Bog roll. <laughs> Never know when you're gonna need it. And um, actually, with the amount of walking you're doing, sometimes it can do strange things to your bowel functioning. At least that was my experience. <laughs> You've got to stay regular. Um, very important. So, earplugs. These are your best friend. Um, like, they're, you're staying in Albergas, they're dormitories, um, bunk beds with loads of people in there. Even during coronavirus, with like half full albergues, there's still plenty of people. You can spot the culprits from a mile away. There's the middle old, uh, middle aged, slightly overweight guys who you know are going to be snoring pretty hard. So, yeah, keep the um, keep the earplugs close to your bed. Actually, that's a top tip. Um, they're not like super comfortable to wear, but you and some people thought they wouldn't be able to sleep with them, but Honestly, I had no issues sleeping with them, and either did the people who tried them for the first time that weren't sure, so definitely do it. Eye mask, I uh, used this like once or twice, and then just suffered through the rest of the nights. Uh, this is just a Garmin watch charger. If you have a Garmin watch, definitely useful. Rosary beads, <laughs> must must have as discussed at length um, and uh, I took some um, 
old-fashioned cable, um, uh, like ear earbuds, ear pods. Um, uh, I didn't want to use Bluetooth because it chews up the battery. Um, and by the way, I stored those in this little um, this little belt compartment of the the um, the backpack. So the rosary beads and the um, uh, I can't think of the name the the, the headset <laughs> sunglasses. I used them a few times. Um, then I decided to get more into the pilgrim kind of mentality and stop looking cool. <laughs> Couple of pens and um, like a little note notebook journal to to um, you know to write down some of your thoughts. Um, this you know you probably don't want to put everything on a vlog, and you know it's it's a pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good time, um, a pretty abundant time and fruitful time of, of thinking and processing so definitely worth taking something like that along. Next up we have my medicine cabinet. Now this was basically um, blister stuff. So a bit of this 3M micro pore tape. Um, buy some band-aids. The thing I could do a, a video on how to um, how to take care of blisters, but what I found was um, you want to put. Actually, I should probably do all this together, but I'm jumping ahead a little bit. I have some betadine here. Which I bought on the way actually. This is just an antiseptic. I would put that on the um, on the blister. Then I put a, a band-aid on top of it or a sticking plaster on top of it. Um, and then I would put tape on top of that. And then I would put Vaseline on top of the tape because what I found was the um, the, the tape or the sticking plaster would eventually catch on my sock um, and would pull off. So if I so if I rubbed some Vaseline on top of the tape, it would um, help a lot and basically I wouldn't really need to change the, the band-aid throughout the day or maybe once. Next, I'll show you through the, my um, liquids and gels. You want to bring one of these bags if you're flying back or if you're flying there. This is admittedly not a liquid or gel. Um, this is ibuprofen, uh, the, the weapon of choice for um, most pilgrims um, who are suffering from various ailments, um, anti-inflammatory, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, that was actually donated to me by another pilgrim. Um, yeah, it, it, it was useful. Shampoo, handy. Soap, pretty essential and can be used to clean clothes. Um, I did cheekily borrow some hand wash soap occasionally for cleaning clothes. But bear in mind that most of the time there's um, washing machines and most of the pilgrims will bundle their clothes in together because we're all cheapskates. So it's not such a big issue. Well, more on that later. Deodorant, handy. Toothpaste too much detail right now. Sun cream, I had a bigger bottle of sun cream but I left it there because it wasn't going to get through the airport. Definitely worthwhile taking it, especially if you're Australian and prone to skin cancer. Vaseline, this is a, a lifesaver. I would put Vaseline on my feet every morning to prevent blisters and it works like a charm. And I, I stopped doing it, um, but then like I started doing it again because it's just so much more comfortable. Um, it's amazing, your feet just glide through your socks. Um, and people worry, oh, I'm going to get you know, sticky socks. It doesn't happen. It's magical. Vaseline. I don't know what happens to it, but it doesn't get stuck on your socks. 
This is a uh, Flexol, the famous stuff, pain relieving gel that helped me with my shin splints. I think it did help. Um, I don't think it really fixed it. Um, on the subject of shin splints, uh, the the general consensus, um, and on that subject actually, my my famous shoes, hard working shoes, Columbia. I don't know what model they are. They're ten years old, so you can't buy them anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, shin splints. Some people would say that the high topped boot isn't so good for shin splints. I don't know if that's true. Um, what uh, my, my understanding was hydration, so you want to drink lots of water. I got the shin splints on a day when it was raining um, and I wasn't drinking enough water, um, which is a point. You want to have water easily accessible. Most of us carrying bottles and not drinking enough water. Um, harder for some of the female pilgrims who don't want to stop in bathrooms etc all the time but um, yeah uh, you really need to keep hydrated drink heaps of water um, and then uh, the other thing was walking too fast I was walking too fast and once I started walking you know at a, at a good clip but not trying to push the speed that I was fine so you just want to walk at a comfortable speed moving right along uh, thongs also known as flip-flops chancletas um, yeah you want to bring them uh, I mean some people have you know fancy sandals and some people would actually walk with sandals socks inside sandals when they're getting too many blisters so I mean fair enough um, flip-flops or sandals and a plastic bag to put them in when they're in your bag because like if you have a shower you're gonna you generally wear them in the shower um, to avoid uh, what's it called T tinea yeah um, and um, yeah it's uh, you don't want to put wet uh, flip-flops in your bag speaking of wet uh, a backpack cover get a good one of those and um, either a poncho or a cheapskate garbage bag with a head and arms cut out which actually works really well um, and is very lightweight but you look a little bit derelict <laughs> okay so on the subject continuing the subject of wet uh, a jacket slash rain jacket um, this one was pretty old and not entirely waterproof it turns out which luckily enough I had like this um, this thing I had to get out with one hand damn selfies um, this is like a super lightweight water retardant jacket and it's um, I think you can get them in decathlon but really really good actually just an extra layer to go over over the top um, and keeping it made my not so waterproof jacket mostly waterproof also water related uh, travel towel get those in decathlon if you get this color it'll be the same as everybody else so maybe choose pink even if you're a guy shirts I, I took one cotton shirt it has a bike on it which confused a lot of people um, there's also like pilgrims that ride bikes they're cheating basically especially the ones with electric bikes um, I don't recommend if you're walking to <laughs> wear a, a shirt which has a bike on it but um, yeah so I mean this cotton one was like for at the end of the day um, it's always nice to change into something after you know the long days walking you jump in the shower um, and yeah, you feel a million million miles better basically the order of um, enjoyment goes taking off your shoes amazing um, having a shower also amazing and then having your first beer <laughs> then you have um, here two decathlon running shirts is what I 
took with me and they were perfect actually like they're really light they don't take up much room uh, they dry really quickly two thumbs up uh, you can't see my other thumb but it's up three pairs of woolen socks these are um, hiking woolen socks don't be a cheapskate buy woolen socks don't for me don't do the two pairs of socks on one foot thing like the two layers I don't think that helps with blisters buy a good pair of woolen socks they stay cool in summer and warm in winter um, the, the Vaseline doesn't like affect them they love it um, it's like you know it's that me melanonin melan melanin stuff that sheep have I mean it's it's wool right so they soak it up um, this is a little, a little personal, <laughs> but yeah, three, three pairs of like walking designated, um, underwear. I elected for nut huggers, <laughs> also known as boxer briefs, um, or whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, and then I also had, uh, one pair of like boxers for sleeping, um, but yeah, like basically, I would you'd wear the the, the uh, walking designated pair all day, and then have a shower, you'd change, you'd put on your sleeping designated, and um, yeah, uh, that that would last you for a few days. Bob Bob was your uncle, Cheryl your aunt. Um, sleeping bag. This is a pretty good sleeping bag. Um, I've had it for a while. It's like a um, duck down sleeping bag. Goes to I don't know, zero or so. It was over the top, but some people were starting to get a bit, bit cold, um, finishing sort of early October. So you want something that's sort of decent if you're finishing around that time. Um, but yeah, you definitely need it. And if there's some way that you can like spray it beforehand to prevent um, bed bugs getting in it, do it. But I got bitten by bed bugs a lot. You just got to treat them like mosquitoes. Just accept that you're going to get bitten. Um, as disgusting as that is, and um, but I, they never invaded my sleeping bag, uh, touch wood, um, and uh, they would never come with me, at least I, I don't think they did. Slightly out of order, but um, a pair of decathlon hiking shorts, these were excellent, just your um, you know your upper level uh, these are fours class um, hiking hiking shorts I just had one of those it's all you really need they dry really quickly they're comfortable they're stretchy got decent pockets really good and I took a, a pair of cotton trousers um, again for the evenings I was not like that Pro. I mean a lot of people would have the the hiking trousers with the zip-off bits at the bottom I think they're a pretty good idea at the same time It's kind of nice to wear something that's not hiking related and just like kind of look a little bit more normal feel a bit more normal Probably the most important thing My trusty pilgrims hat I want to do a shout out to the brand because it was such a good hat. It's um Elementere. I think it's like a French brand like Elemental, but Elementere, like Tere as in the land. Um, I bought that in Saint Jean Pied de Port. Uh, also, a, a jumper. Um, I actually took a, a woolen fleece as well um, in case it got cold. I only wore that once, so up to you. Backpack. Um, this is just a cheapie from, um, from Decathlon. Mine was uh, 50, 50 litres, you probably don't need quite that much, a bit smaller would be a bit better and um, also a bit easier to take home as um, carry-on. Um, but I mean it did the job, uh, towards the end it started to get um, a little uncomfortable so probably not the smartest to skimp on a backpack. And uh, last but not least 
Pilgrim Shell, which um, the theory is you shouldn't buy one. Uh, someone should give it, give one to you. So, or you should wait until you get to Finisterre. That's about it for my list. Uh, again, if you have any questions, drop me a line below in the comments. I'll um, in the in the video notes below the the title, I'll add a, a list that you can copy and paste into OneNote or whatever, um, and tick off when you're packing. Hope you enjoyed. Adios.